we're gonna make a can of Red Bull in Blender. I can't think of an easier way to get paid than to make a simple animation with a can from any energy drink company, send it to them and ask them to pay you for more videos. We got PureF open over here and first we need a picture which we're going to use to figure out the dimensions of this fucking can. Right click, copy that, paste it into PureF. Then we're going to search Red Bull top and now we can get a top view of the can where we can see this thing that you open it with. You can see their little logo and all this other shit. Lucky for me, I got a Red Bull right here so that's the best reference you can get. So we're also gonna paste this into PureF. But I'm gonna go back to the old image and also save it to my computer. And I'll be able to open this up in Blender as a reference image in the background. So Shift A, image, reference. And there's my Red Bull, it even has a transparent background. We're gonna throw this in the back. Let's do a circle with some like 16 vertices. We're going to fill that and extrude it up. Then once we extrude it up a little bit, we're going to scale this circle up so it matches the width of the entire can. As you can see here, this lower circle is a little bit smaller so it matches the width at the bottom of the can. We're also gonna add a loop cut over here so we can make a little bevel. Now extrude this, lift it up. Up here, we're also going to make it a little bit more narrow. Once that's done, we're going to duplicate this, right click to snap it back into place, lower it just a little bit, extrude, right click and scale it to add some thickness. Extrude it up to create this ring around the top and we're just going to scale this with shift Z on these two axes so that it becomes a little bit thicker than the rest of the can. We're gonna delete this interface at the top, then I'll inset this one, extrude it inwards a little bit, extrude it inwards again and create this little shape on the inside. If you're trying to follow along, just do what I'm doing because I'm just looking at the can in front of me right now. Otherwise, run to the shop and get a Red Bull real quick. Now, once we get to the bottom of the can, we're going to inset it a little bit and extrude it and lift it up a bit. That way, we're going to get this little gap here. And now we get to the important part because now we have to make the top of the can. So we're going to have to model out the top of the can, but also this little thing that you use to open the can, whatever you call it. This is going to be pretty high poly, so we can just bake this as a normal map. I got another reference image over here of the top view, and let's just try to roughly shape this out. I'm going to use a plane to make this thing on top here. I'll use a couple of loop cuts so I can bend this down. I'll extrude this and push it down as well. Give me another loop cut over here so we can take this and scale these edges here inwards a little bit. And then we're going to scale this edge up a little bit and push it out to create this round part. We are going to subdivide this don't worry now let's try one or two levels of subdivision so we can adjust this shape accordingly scale this up add some more geometry to control this shape a little bit better we're going to add a loop cut up here and now we have more or less the shape that we're trying to get here so i want another loop cut here because that's going to allow me to cut out this little shape here so inset that scale it down delete this surface in the middle and now let's just align some of this geometry a little bit better so it's not too stretched out like this now let's take this surface up here, extrude it, and scale it down a little bit. Then with loop tools, we're going to turn it into a circle. Delete the geometry in the middle. We're going to scale this circle up on the x-axis so it's a bit longer. And this topology here is not ideal, but I don't really care. It's going to look fine anyway. Now let's fill this, inset it a little bit. Once we inset it, we can push it down. And then we can bevel these two edge loops with Control b And that way we have a nice flat surface in the middle. I'm now going to apply one level of subdivision. And that way I can take some geometry from down here and use that to extrude this. This little piece we gotta scale this down a little bit then extrude it out like this we can take these two edges here lift these vertices up a bit and we're just gonna move some of this geometry to try to make this look a little bit more round add another loop cut down here and now we can go back to subdivision surface in the middle here we can just add a circle let's give that 32 vertices we're gonna adjust the size then lift it up a little bit extrude it up a little bit scale it down fill it we can bevel this set the shape to one correct the normals with shift n object shade smooth and this part is ready for baking now the only thing we still need is this bull shape up here we're going to create this with an alpha map first of all let's get rid of this and we're going to replace that with an end gone Let's add a plane right on top of this thing, and we're gonna make that plane just slightly bigger than the shape. It needs to float above the surface like this. Now in the shading tab, we're gonna add a new material to this. We're gonna call that normal map bake. Add a new image texture node to this material. Generate a new image, let's do 2048 by 2048. We're gonna name that can opener normal map. I don't know what the fuck you call this thing. Check 32 bit float, click okay. Set the color space to non-color. We can preview that blank image right here. Now we're going to select this. This shape then shift select the plane let's switch the cycles scroll down to the bake menu here set the bake type to normal and check selected to active now make sure that you select this node in your shader editor set your samples to one and hit bake meantime we're gonna get fucked up on caffeine now we got our baked image on the side over here. So with these three little lines, go to image, save as. Let's make a new folder for all our Red Bull textures. And we're going to save that in there. Now let's add a subdivision surface modifier to the can and also get that ready so that we can bake the top of the can. 
But let's delete the end gun at the top of the can, select the edge loop, go to face, grid fill, and now we're going to use this geometry to create this little shape around this object. First of all, I'm going to apply one level of subdivision surface and add another subdivision surface modifier. Now I just have more geometry to work with. Now I'm going to inset a surface around here, loop tools turn that into a circle. This has to be located around here somewhere. We can just delete this entire surface and we're going to wrap some geometry up here around this little shape that we created for opening the fucking can. Let's also delete that. We can get rid of all this geometry and start refilling that. Now I'll just select these two edge loops, loop tools, G stretch. I'll slide these down. So let's just fill this, inset it a little bit, lower it down a little bit, and then we're going to bevel these edge loops. And maybe we can also create a little shape around the opening. We're gonna replace this end gone with a grid fill. It looks like span eight offset six works just fine. Now we can take some faces like this, delete them and use them to shape out this hole over here. Once we got the right shape, fill, inset just slightly. We're going to extrude this inwards to make a little gap here. Inset this again, an edge loop over here just to control the edges a bit better. And now if we remove this, we can also bake this onto another normal map. So let's add a plane on top of here. I'm just gonna do the same shit that I did a minute ago with this shape, so we're just gonna skip over it. Now the top is baked as well, so let's also save that to the computer. Now let's duplicate both of these objects and push them to the side somewhere in case we fuck something up and we need these later as backup. For now, we're going to select all the geometry on the top of the can like this. We're gonna delete that and we're gonna replace it with an end gone. Now we're gonna need a texture that we can wrap around the can. One thing you can do is take one of these cans, cut them open, and then take a picture, but that's easier said than done because it's reflective. If you add a label from a can of beans or something, then that might work, but this is probably not gonna work. So we're just going to Google Red Bull label, and now we can pick up the first image that has a decent resolution. None of them are very good, so we're just going to download this one, and then we're gonna go to this website called upscale.media. We're gonna open up the Red Bull label with this button over here, and then we just gotta wait a couple minutes for this thing to process now we got an image with twice the resolution and if for whatever reason this is not good enough you can also do 4x and then you gotta wait another minute now we got a high resolution label so let's just download that now back in blender we're going to apply the subdivision surface modifier let's get rid of this and fix up the topology a little bit by just replacing it with an end gone we're also going to dissolve these edge loops we need to mark a seam down here somewhere and we're also going to mark a vertical edge loop like this as a seam this ring isn't going to have a texture so we don't care about it but this is going to have a texture so just select this face, control E, mark seam. Now in order to apply a normal map that we bake from this, we're going to take the edge loop around this shape, duplicate that and separate it to new object. You can fill this as an end goal and it doesn't really matter too much. Bring it to the middle of the can. We're gonna apply normal map number one over here and normal map number two down here. So give me a new material for the can, crank up the metallic value and reduce the roughness. We're going to name this material metal. Then we're gonna add a new material slot where we're also gonna load that material, duplicate that material, name the second material can top. In the can top material, go to shift A, image texture, and load up the can top normal map. Run that shit through a normal map node, plug that into the principled. Make sure to select this face, then select the can top material, click assign, and you might have to adjust your UV map. So press U, unwrap, and adjust this to whatever you think looks best. I think it should look something like this. Let's create a new material for this little opener thing. Make that blue. This can be metal later, but we're just gonna make it blue for now so it's more visible. We gotta adjust the UV map below a little bit so it fits this shape. Now let's go to the shading workspace again. We're gonna name this blue metal and add a new image texture node. Load up the other normal map and again run that through a normal map node. You unwrap and just adjust this normal map. It might work better if you subdivide this a little bit. Just make sure to get rid of the geometry on the inside and replace it with an end gone. Then unwrap again and now you're gonna be able to place this a little bit better. Now we're still going to need a little alpha map here. So I googled Red Bull Bull. I'm gonna take this little icon here, copy image. In PaintNet, I'm going to touch this thing up a little bit because I have to fill up any holes that we have here in the bowl. Now we can delete the background. We're gonna make this bowl white and we're gonna make it slightly blurry so it's not so pixelated. Now we're going to take this white bowl and we're going to place it on a new layer on top of this little normal map. Now it's positioned correctly, so we're going to take this entire surface of the new layer, Control C, Control N, create a new canvas. We're also gonna have to go to adjustments, invert alpha. Now it's only the bowl that's transparent and everything else is gonna be visible. Now load this image into a new image texture node, plug the color into alpha, or better yet the alpha into alpha, and now you can see what I'm talking about. It doesn't work properly in material preview, but it works well when it's rendered. Now we just have to select this surface, 
you unwrap and in this material we're gonna drop down our label plug the color into color and let's rotate that by 90 degrees on the UV map scale it up a bit and this label is a little bit cropped for some reason you can just google another one and get a better one you get the idea now your can of Red Bull is ready you can duplicate that as many times as you want you can animate this whatever way you like and now you have all the energy you're gonna need to give somebody a good beat down if you learned something then like the damn video let me know in the comments what you want to see next and I'll see you in the next one